Hey everyone, it's Brandon with Everyday EV and it is now winter time 2021 and as things get colder, you may have noticed some differences in your electric vehicle. Well, for today's video, I wanna do an electric vehicle 101 educational video for those people who are either new in terms of electric vehicle ownership and this is their first time in winter time or somebody who is looking to go electric. You may have heard some rumors that electric vehicles are not good in the winter time, and that is simply not true. These vehicles are fantastic in the winter. However, there are some things that may, you may notice that impact either things like your driving range, your performance, as well as traction. And for today's video, I wanna go over some of those things, provide advice on how to alleviate those, and just talk about how fantastic electric vehicles are in the winter time. So one thing with electric vehicles in the colder temperature is that you will notice a range loss, and that is totally normal for electric vehicles. Depending on the exterior temperature, if it's under 40 degrees, you could see a range loss of anywhere from 30 to 40% state of charge. Now don't let that number scare you. There are a few things that you can do to alleviate that. And before we get to that, let's talk about the lithium ion batteries that power these vehicles. The reason why you're seeing a loss of state of charge in colder temperatures is because lithium ion batteries have a happy place in terms of the internal temperature. If it drops below 40 degrees in terms of the temperature of the battery, you will start seeing that loss of range. Lithium ions batteries happy places are between 50 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit. The main temperature that you are going to be looking for on your battery is anywhere between 70 and 80 degrees. That's the optimal temperature. Now, if you're thinking, oh, I have to do something to make sure that my battery pack is warm, well, the nice thing is, is that the batteries will actually do it automatically for you. And that brings up my other tip. If it's cold outside and you know that you are going to face a loss of charge, you wanna make sure that you constantly have your vehicle plugged in. So, as we talked about electric vehicle charging in some other videos, um, if you are plugging your car into say like a 110 household line, that will definitely not be powerful enough to make sure that your battery is using that electricity from the charger to warm itself up. You're gonna be wanting to use a level two charger or a typical household uh, EVSE or uh, electric vehicle service equipment. That will use that more powerful line to make sure it's using the electricity from the charger to warm up the battery pack automatically. And what's also great about that is that since you're not using the electricity in the battery pack itself, you will leave with the same state of charge that when you started preconditioning your vehicle. When I say precondition, a lot of vehicles can either be started using the key fob or you can actually use a mobile app to precondition your vehicle. And what that simply does is that it will start warming up the, inter the inside of the vehicle with like the HVAC system. And then in turn, it will actually start warming up the battery pack. One other thing I do wanna mention when I say that the battery management system is automatic is that the vehicle itself is smart enough to determine if it's getting cold or if it's getting hot and it will activate that system accordingly. So one other thing that might impact your driving range in the winter time is rolling resistancy. And what I mean by that is that ice, rain, and snow creates more friction on the roads for your vehicle to go through, which will definitely reduce your efficiency. A lot of electric vehicles come standard with eco tires that create less rolling resistancy in the warmer temperatures. However, our, my recommendation is that you definitely want to get a good set of winter tires, especially if it snows a lot where you live. These tires will, perform, uh, will provide more grippage on the road, especially during those slippery, more slippery conditions. However, since they provide more grip and the tread is going to be deeper, it's going to create a lot more rolling resistance, which will then impact your driving range. But the nice thing about winter tires is that you can rest assured that where you're driving, you're gonna get there safely. So let's get on the inside of this electric vehicle. It is cold, my hands are cold, and one thing that I wanna do when I get into the car is blast the heat as a lot of people in colder temperatures want to. Well, the one thing with doing that is that that will actually drain your battery state of charge faster because the car's using more electricity to warm up the interior to get to that temperature you're looking for. So my advice is that you want to leave the temperature at, I would say probably about 70 to 75 degrees, maybe even less, but definitely utilize your heated seat as well as your heated steering wheel. 
And the reason I say that is that your heated seats and your heated steering wheel will use a lot less electricity than the HVAC system. So drop the temperature a little bit, make sure you're comfortable and you know warm, but definitely rely on your uh, steering wheel as well as your heated seat if your vehicle offers that. One other thing I wanna mention with electric vehicles is that a lot of the newer electric vehicles are coming with heat pumps, which pushes, electric, or pushes warmer air more efficiently than vehicles that don't have that. For example, the ID4 that we're currently in does not have a heat pump, it has resistant heating, so the energy usage is going to be slightly less efficient than a vehicle that does have a heat pump, but that's all right, because in the winter time, this car handles way better than any vehicle I've driven. So I definitely wanna give that piece of advice, rely on what you can and stay comfortable. So anyways, everybody, it is getting cold out, but that is going to be it for today's EV 101 video. As I mentioned, there will be some things that you'll notice that change in colder temperatures with your electric vehicle. However, there are a lot of things that you can do to alleviate that. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you liked it, make sure you like this video and share with your friends. And as always, please consider subscribing to Everyday EV. We are so excited to be sharing more educational content for you guys. And as always, make sure you're taking care, staying safe, and make everyday electrifying. We'll see you in the next one.